Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So last time we got pretty lucky, uh, we found a small group of white dire wolves that we killed without too many problems. Uh, I think we might have been a bit lucky during the fight as well because uh, uh, we managed to keep them under control more or less the whole time, most of the time they were attacking our tanks. So that worked quite well and uh, Right after basically we are done with those dire wolves, we uh, spot this group of rock unholds. Uh, it's not just rock unholds, there are two normal ones, but I'm actually pretty happy that uh, it's not uh, just six rock unholds. I have a feeling that uh, we probably wouldn't be able to handle that. Uh, I'm a lot more confident when I know that there are two normal unholds that we can kill pretty much instantly uh, for example Zifnab can probably kill an unhold a normal one by herself in one turn which is kind of ridiculous but I'm pretty sure she has the damage for that so it's basically just uh, can we handle four rock unholds or not uh, I ha I know well I can't say that I know nothing about Rock and Hold, but what I know, it's, it's like very little. I vaguely remember uh, fighting them. I think it might have been the previous series, trying to trying to fight once or twice, or maybe just fighting one random unhold that was a part of uh, of some barbarian group, something like that. And I know that I had to focus like all of my attacks on him to prevent him from like out regening my damage so here i think we will just have to take them one by one uh if we want to have a chance to kill them and that, then the question is can we survive for long enough this is gonna be an interesting fight uh okay let's check level ups no not this time and uh, we didn't have time really to fully recover from the previous fight but didn't really take that much damage. Yeah, we got hit a couple of times here and there. This is probably the biggest issue. <clears throat> and then, of course, these two injuries. But other than that, we are not in a horrible shape. Okay, fine. Attack. Can we make it before the night? I'm actually not sure that we made it. Yeah, it, it's fine. It should be fine. Fine. How does it look like? Hmm. So, it would be ideal if we could get rid of these two before we really engage the rest. The question is, who is faster? <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait. And by who is, ma uh, who is faster, I mean... Are these two faster or are these two faster? So we should be able, I think, to kill this one. At least. I don't think that uh, the rock unholds will be like super mobile. Nope. I'm so wrong about that. Holy crap, how did they make it so far? Well, that changes a lot. Uh, okay. Wait. Hmm. What's my first target? Probably this. So that means I have to go this way. It's horrible. Wait. Okay, I need to lock at least some of them down with tanks. One tank can't do it, but multiple should be able to. Uh, 
that's I'm pretty sure that was pretty impressive damage. Um, hmm. Probably. Okay, do we take Charles into this? I don't think so. We don't really have room here. Let's bring him this way. Hilo want to kill this one. Jump down here, I should still be in range, excellent. <clears throat> and now I hope that this one just knocks Dolphin back and uh, that would create a little bit more room here, so I'd kill this one, then turn to this one and try to tank these two for some time. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, right, I can't use the <clears throat> the hammer part of the weapon now. Well, let's see how much spear would do. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, here's just a single target. Try to boost the defense a little bit. Uh, 37 miles. Honestly, I'd rather hit this one if possible. Okay, so that confirmed how impressive the damage with that uh, unique blacksmithing hammer was. That's um, our highest damage weapon, the, the two-handed axe. That's like 100 to 120 base damage or something. And didn't really do much that the uh, blacksmithing hammer was doing what like 45 ish percent per uh, hit <clears throat> yeah that just confirms that maybe for most fights Geralt can't really do that much but when it comes to these specific end game fights it's gonna be probably the same with shrads then suddenly the blacksmithing, blacksmithing hammer can really shine. Okay, I kind of need to go here even though I won't be able to attack this turn. Oh, come on. This is a little risky because if they started throwing people around and suddenly our arches could be really screwed. Just make some more room. On both sides, probably. Then... Just want to focus on this one as much as possible, but it's just not doing anything. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Huh. Expected the damage to be worse. Yeah, but now we have a problem that can't really focus my attacks. Ah. It's probably gonna be rotation here. Oh, it still sucks. Wait. 
Can I inspire here? Try to break this arm. Oh, that would change again. I just can't focus my attacks enough. Wasn't that great? We have one more attack. gonna do this I was hoping that I hit the body to get rid of the armor. And it seems that they're regenerating both armor and the hit points. Which is pretty bad. Some bleeding. step back a bit nope nope <clears throat> And this is bad. Of course we hit the head twice. What the hell? I'm thinking if it's worth it attacking because the armor is gone, so I either wait and hit him once or I just go for recover. Because of course, if I hit the head, then great. If I don't, then I'm not going to do any damage. And I need to get through the armor here. So yeah, let's just uh, recover. That wasn't bad. That was actually pretty good. Still fine. Um, step back. That's a waste of stamina attacking. Same here. And how are we doing? So. Okay. 
This looks promising. Not sure how he survived that shot. But he didn't survive this one. <sighs> okay. Three more to go. Can't get anywhere from here. Of course, I didn't have the head this time. I'm gonna need more damage around here somehow. It's fine. might be a problem. There is no one with rotation around here. That was a nice attack. Can't really do anything from this place. No, not enough. Well, now they're split a little bit more, and I will probably use rotation here. I really hate that Severin here is in between them and then just throwing him around. It's gonna sound weird, but I would say that bows are actually quite effective. Never mind against them. <clears throat> Are 
he's through. Yeah, now we are through the armor. Oh, I'll just stay here. It's time to start healing up. That was actually pretty good damage. So far, so good. Should have checked what the chance to hit was there. This turn before he attacks. Thank you. <sighs> so now we are there. Looking at the last one. Um, hmm. Wait. I think I should just keep healing just in case. We need to get Severin out of there. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen then. Somehow adjust. Now we have a little bit more damage. Uh, I probably should get the, my archers closer. I'll keep Dolphin around just in case we need to replace someone. Okay, what abilities do we have access to? Relax might be quite important here and then here. One, two, three, four. It's probably too far. That was a decent hit. I 
Okay, let's try to hit the head of it. You know what, let's just get Charles out of there. He took too much damage already. And uh, this is pointless because he regen some armor. Okay, fine. Again. I guess we'll have to wait one turn. No! people someone okay that took a long time but it's really not that bad I'm pretty sure there is like some critical mass that's gonna be around five or six for us currently where this just becomes impossible because they'll be able to throw our people around like from one to another and then we'll just start taking too much damage this just shows how desperately we need proper hard hitting front line it'll be so much easier with like two maces and uh, two two-handed maces and two two-handed hammers in the front line Who did the damage? Charles did 1400, Bern 1100, Ziffnab 2000 somehow, but most of the damage was probably the first few shots when she killed the, the normal unholds. Then I was surprised that um, our archers were doing decent damage every turn. Like each hit was barely noticeable, but it, it added up pretty quickly. So that wasn't bad. That whip also wasn't horrible. Uh, look at Geralt, and this is just armor damage. So that's uh, the MVP of this of this fight. Fifteen hundred for shade. Not even sure where that came from. Hmm. We got bones, but I'm pretty sure 
there is something like rock unhold hide and we didn't get any i'm pretty sure that's what we need for the armor so yeah that sucks fine what else Next, maybe we can just set up a camp. Oh. How did he manage to get sprained ankle? while he was fixing the gear or fixing a weapon or whatever he was doing okay took a little bit longer but most of the damage is fit. 91 tools and supplies. Wow. Uh, we, we have 33, so we definitely have to start thinking about going back. I kind of want to kill these goblins now when we are right next to them. Then maybe even explore a little bit or just go back, uh, attack the cave and maybe destroy one of the barbarian camps, maybe even both of them. Do we know about the second location for this quest chain? It has to be here somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure the second part is always on a tundra, it's not on snow. Um, I guess after we resupply, we'll head in this direction and we'll probably try to finish the whole quest chain. But well, that's gonna be next time. Today, we'll just kill some more goblins and probably make a cut. Wait, wait. What's our chance to hit 40? Whoa, that's bad. And this is 62, so let's do that. As if not, we might be able to take care of this one. <clears throat> That worked. Come on. to just kill himself so now we should probably just run at them but then again there are still ambushes so there's no point in risking some stab wounds or we'll just wait we need to kill like four more of them then the, then the rest will run away
Okay, I'm pretty sure we are done here. Yep. I'll have to try and attack one of the larger goblin groups just to find out how difficult it is if you have to fight like 40, 45 of them. <clears throat> because everything so far, every time we tried to fight goblins, it really wasn't bad. I expected goblins to be a huge pain in the ass, but so far it's actually a pleasant surprise. They can't really do anything. Okay, so I think we are done with this episode. I'll have to check the crafting recipes uh, from the rock unhold materials. Uh, what we can get from their bones, but I'm pretty sure we need their hides. Um, next time we visit the icy cave. And because we are in a decent-ish shape. I think I will try to get rid of both the barbarian camps before we get back. How much room do we have in the inventory, by the way? <clears throat> yeah, we definitely have enough room to get loot from both. I don't want to go back until we fill up the inventory. Maybe some undead. It wouldn't be horrible. Some nice undead fight with some champions. That would maybe be better than Barbarians, but we will see what the game decides to give us. Uh, as I said, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. Now until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.